Okay guys, what's happening? Feel here today. What we got here is the uh, finished up close and personal crepe myrtle bow. We never shot this version of it. I shot it right off the tiller and string the other day and I showed you that one, but I never, I still haven't shot it since I've uh, um, tongue oiled it and uh, put the Eskimo back on it. So I imagine it's going to have a little bit more snap now. Uh, look at that. Look how it looks like flame maple. I wanted to make sure I got this shot right now because the sun's perfect right now. And uh, if it didn't have all these imperfection and blemishes and all this stuff right here and all these little pin knots, that would just be perfect tiger stripe all the way down, you know. And the side looks awesome when the sun catches it just right. I love that. That's some good looking stuff right there. But, uh, yeah, so this is my crepe myrtle longbow I made. And uh, I may end up making it a little bit shorter. You can see I didn't start my cable back till right there. That would give me enough. I could come all the way back here to my knock, with my knock and lose like three inches. Probably gain a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of speed and poundage, but I may lose some of my set. You see, it's pretty straight. See, it went back to flat. Even though last time we were noticing it had a little bit of after string set. But I'll string this one up and we'll go shoot him. And let's see what's happening. Got me a new fence back there. I don't know if you guys see that, but that's pretty awesome. That got put in today, actually. So, because of that, I rearranged my archery corral. We'll have to go over there and shoot down the range. And uh, as to not kill my new neighbors over there anymore, I kind of moved my archery stuff over. So we'll go shoot this bow. All right, guys. So now we got the uh, okay, got the elm bow here. I think it turned out about 45 pounds on the tiller and board with the added uh, weight of the sinew back here, the cable back. And uh, it's definitely got a lot more. A lot more snap. So we'll see what we got here. Let's see what happens down there to the target. Two right through the gate. I'm gonna have to come up with something about that. Give me some haystack or something. Big old hay bale and put down there. I lost two arrows through the fence there. 
Let's see. Luckily, they got stopped by the backstop there. All right. Let's see what we did that time. That uh, bow doesn't have an arrow shelf on it, but you can see that one right there. It didn't seem to recognize that it had an arrow shelf. But uh, got a bunch of them in that one. The ones in the uh, Duck Dynasty target are all uh, 5 sixteenths dowels from the uh, hardware store. And then uh, the ones over here on the green target are the uh, 11 30 seconds. Um, 11 30 seconds port over cedar that I'd normally shoot. Random variety of those. So I'm going to have to make me a better uh, target back there. But uh, until then, that was just me shooting some bows. Hope you guys like that. Um, first day I felt good since my ACL surgery. That was a, a week and, let's see, it's Saturday. It was last Thursday. So I've been pretty much laid up in the bed with my foot up this whole week. And uh, so I'm over a thousand subscribers. Last time I checked, it was like a thousand fifty or something. That's amazing, guys. Appreciate it. I mean, I know all y'all had to do is hit the button, but still appreciate it. Um, very cool. So stick with me and we'll come up with some more stuff. All right, guys, later. If you have anything you want me to do, go ahead and leave me a comment. And uh, besides, like, the spear gun thing, I know I need to make another crossbow. But I think he's going to have to start feeling a little bit better. Maybe once I start walking, I can get to my tools better, then we'll do something like that. All right, guys, later. Thanks. Bill. All right, guys, I'm going to go down there and shoot that uh, crepe myrtle bow one more time. And the target's right there, just so y'all can hear the impact. That, uh, that myrtle bow makes some arrows hit pretty hard. Keep in mind that's off the off the hand, and uh, I clearly need to sinew wrap some of those feathers on them new arrows I made because them quills are getting in me. But um, so for shooting off the hand, homemade bow from back there about I don't know 55 feet or so, 55 60 feet away. Um, yeah. Going. I was off to a good start with those three rivers arrows there and uh, three river shafts that I fletched um, with a true flight shield cut five inch feathers. I just uh, stuck the tip of those feathers in the dye in a little cup of glass of dye and I just stuck a whole bunch of feathers in there tip first and just let them soak up that dye and it kind of makes them look like an eagle or something. Or that, that's what I was going for. I know an eagle feather would be dark on the other side, but I did them reverse like that so I could see them when they're flying. And then uh, these new ones are goofy. They're just <coughs> camo. Uh, I dyed some green and some brown and then thought, well, that's great. I'll never find that arrow. So I painted the shaft white too on a white knot just so I could kind of see them. Not a good shot, but. See the front of that feather is white. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, those are definitely not spined right. Those little 5 16 arrows. I was doing, I was pretty proud of those two right there, right in the bullseye, but then something happened. <laughs> something bad happened. One of them, another one of them went across the fence. And, uh, actually, he's right there. I need to go get all those. Most of my arrows are across the fence now. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching my uh, crazy little video and it's good to get out of the house and uh, hang out with you guys for a minute because I've been dying. So, all right guys, thanks, later. All right guys, I lost a couple of arrows across the fence over there. I might get in that predicament sometime and not be able to get to them. What I made is a little catch pole. Um, just tied a dead end, a line off to the end of the stick. 
then put whipped me a little line right there for it to ride on. Then all you gotta do is pull this in and you'll get your little catch pole. You know, you can use that to catch dogs and stuff or whatever. Animal control, but I'll just reach that over there. I'm trying to shine them on there, baby, if you can kind of turn it turn it down towards one of them. Let me flip that around so you can see. Alright, so I, I found out what the problem I I was trying to pull it up and over the fence and this uh, stick was too limber. So I got it down here and I actually shoved it through the fence this time and uh, tightened him down. Okay, I got him around the shaft that time. And now since I'm pulling at the right angle, it's no problem. It'll come right on out through the fence here. And uh, so there we go. Got him back from my side of the fence without having to trespass. So that was good. And uh, that's my old uh, arrow retrieving device I whipped up in about three seconds. <laughs> and it works pretty effectively. So, pull me another loop and get that other one. And then I will decide that I need to rig up something to keep my arrows from flying across the fence when I throw a stray down the range there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll uh, get back with you whenever I can. Peace.